In this video, I am going to explain you how solar becomes the first priority to the load. Solar is a renewable source of energy. Going towards solar energy, mainly the on-grid power plants, we have the grid connected to your loads along with the solar power. The important question that arises in everybody's mind is how does solar become the first priority to the load? And that's what will be explained in this video. Solar becoming the first priority to the load even if there is grid availability in an on-grid system. Explaining it in a simple term, consider two water tanks of same capacity having the same water but they are fixed at different levels. One at floor 2 and one on floor 1 and they are connected to a vent or a water tap which is on the ground floor. Consider opening the tap. Which tank do you think empties first? It's obviously the tank on floor 2 because of its high pressure. The tank on the floor 2 has a higher pressure than the tank which is on floor 1 and tries to empty itself first then followed by the tank in the first floor. Now if you consider closing this vent what happens here is the tank on the floor 2 tries to push its water into tank 1 and tries to fill up the tank number 1 which is on first floor. The same situation is what is happening in your houses when you have an on-grid system. Consider this tap to be your load. A load is always at a lower potential than the power source. And from the power source, energy always try to push itself from a higher potential into the lower potential. So whenever there is a need, energy from the higher potential tends to flow into the lower potential. So the tank on floor 2 is your solar power and the tank on floor 1 is your grid. Why I say this is because the on-grid inverters produce a voltage which is a little bit higher than the voltage in the grid. They take reference of the grid voltage and produce a voltage which is at a higher potential than the grid. So whenever there is a load the solar power tries to feed the load first and if there is no load and no load condition happens the solar power tends to flow itself into the grid which we call it as a feed in and this is why solar becomes the first priority to the load pushing the grid to the second let me explain the same in a little bit technical manner Two voltage sources with different voltages connected in parallel with the load. Don't attempt to do this because if the lower voltage power source is non-chargeable then it can end up exploding or creating issues. So consider a 12 volt battery and a 6 volt battery connected in parallel along with the load. The 12 volt battery powers up the load as well as charges the 6 volt battery until the 6 volt try it tries to pull the 6 volt into the same voltage as the 12 and also by powering the load. In a simpler manner, have you been stuck up in a situation where you have to jump start your car? A car with lower battery power has to be charged by a car with a higher power battery. Here the car with a higher power is connected to the lower power battery in parallel that is positive to positive, negative to negative and when you are charging a battery this car has to be switched on so that the battery's voltage is little bit higher than the battery that is being charged. In this manner you will be able to push the power from the high power battery into the low power battery. This is exactly what happens when solar power is connected to the load in parallel with the grid. With those two examples, we'll just move on to the real life scenario with the solar panel connected to your inverter, powering up your load and also connected to the grid. And this is the point where the solar power meets the grid power. And this is the point where your solar inverter produces a voltage a little bit higher than the grid which makes it push its power into the load and the excess into the grid. Thus, solar becomes first priority to the load. 
For more such technical videos on solar, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.